Welcome to the Sidra Intersection Tutorial Series. In this video, part 3 in a series of 3, we'll demonstrate how to use the Lane Geometry Input Dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines using a signalized site as an example. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. We will continue to use the Signals site modified in the Intersection and Movement Definitions tutorial videos. Now let's begin. Select the Signals site in the Project pane. Right-click to rename the site as Signals 3L and then save the project. Click the Layout Command button in the ribbon to view the picture of the signalized intersection. It's very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane discipline data immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. Click the View Display button to open the default layout display. Blue text in the top left corner of the display indicates that direct data entry is allowed in this display. As you select approaches, lanes, and strip islands on the left side of the dialog, the selected items will be highlighted in the layout picture. You can also select lanes and strip islands by clicking the layout display. The Lane Geometry dialog includes the Lane Configuration tab. Here you will find the Approach Selector, which displays Signalized Intersection Site as configured in the Intersection dialog. The Lane Editor, displaying the approach and exit lanes and islands for the selected leg. And the Lane Configuration Data Group. You can configure the selected lane using the parameters in the Lane Configuration Data Group. Approach lanes, exit lanes, and strip islands can be added or deleted using the command buttons below the Lane Editor picture. Add and delete functions are also available when you right-click a lane or a strip island in the Lane Editor or Layout display. Let's first create approach and exit lanes allocated to buses only on the east and west legs as a bus priority lane example. Select the east leg in the approach selector and approach lane 1 in the lane editor. From the drop down list in the lane configuration field, select two segment lane. When the selected lane configuration is a two-segment lane or short lane, additional sections will appear at the bottom of the dialog. Let's keep the segment lengths as they are in this example. Under Segment 2, the Upstream Segment section of the dialog, enter B in the Segment ID field and select a segment color of your choice. To create a bus priority exit lane on the west leg, select Exit Lane 1. In the Lane Configuration data fields, enter the same ID and color used for the Approach Lane segment. Select the north leg, Approach Lane 1. Change the lane type to Slip Bypass High Angle. Now select the south leg. Delete the short approach lane using the blue command button. While the strip island is selected, increase its front width to 5.3 meters. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. All Origin Destination OD, Movements by Movement class are allocated to appropriate lanes here. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. If you click Apply or OK before allocating all OD movements to appropriate lanes, you will get a lane configuration error. 
select Approach Lane 1 of the East Leg. To allow only the buses to travel through in Segment 1, uncheck the boxes next to Light and Heavy Vehicles under T1 and check the box next to Buses. To assign Segment 2 to Buses only, uncheck the boxes for Light and Heavy Vehicles in the Movement Class column under Segment 2 and check the box for Buses. By default, the Lane Editor displays OD movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The third tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Data tab. This includes the approach lane data for all site types. When the site is a signalized intersection, as in this example, the additional signals group will appear. Detailed information about the Lane Data tab can be found in the User Guide. When the Lane Geometry specifications are completed, click OK to close the dialog. Save your project. Clicking the Process Site button at this stage will give an error message. Other necessary data specifications must be completed in the remaining input dialogs before results are obtained. This concludes the final tutorial in this three-part series on how to configure lane geometry in Sidra Intersection 8. The other tutorials in this series teach how to configure the lane geometry for a roundabout and a two-way sign control site. Thank you for watching.